Hello friends, uh, today I will discuss about protection of teeth feeder of transmission line. That is how the distance protection setting is provided in case of teeth feeder of transmission line or sometime it is called tap transmission line. And now consider that uh, substation A and substation B is connected via a transmission line that is single circuit line and length of the transmission line is 100 km. Now both the substation has source and distance relay is provided in both end of the substation for protection of this transmission line. Now consider that 100 km line length is equal to 10 ohm impedance for ease of understanding. Now zone 1, zone 1 is 80% uh, of the protective line length. Uh, so zone 1 setting should be 80 km from the each end of the distance relay. So in terms of ohm in, or in, in terms of impedance, it will be 8 ohm. Since 100 km is equal to 10 ohm, so 80 km will be 8 ohm. Now zone 2, zone 2 reach shall be provided that is 120% of the protective line length. Since it is a single circuit line, so zone 2 reach must cover first fault at far end substation. That is why 120% of the protective line length is provided the zone 2 reach. So here 120% means 120 km or 12 ohm in terms of impedance. Uh, now consider that in between substation A and B, there exists a point D from which a tapping line is exist up to substation C. Okay. So the tap point is D. Since a tap line is exist at up to substation C, so it is also called teat feeder. Okay. Just like a T. That is why it is teat feeder. So tap has been provided from substation A at a distance 50 kilometer. Also from substation BN, it is a distance at 50 km and length of the teeth feeder is 50 km. Now zone 1, zone 1 uh, is provided from uh, at each end of the uh, substation that is the 80% of the line length that is 80 km or in terms of impedance it is set at 8 ohm from both end of the substation. And now consider that a bus fault occur at substation CN or farthest point at teeth feeder. Okay. So zone 2, zone 2 from each of the substation that is from substation A and substation B shall cover the far end fault within this teeth section or tap line. So zone 2 shall cover fault at farthest point that is fault at substation C end. Now, since both the substation has source, uh, so fault current will be sub supplied by the both of the substation. Now, consider that IA current is supplied by substation A end and IB current is supplied by substation B end. So, through the teed feeder, IC current will flow that is equal to IA plus IB. So, voltage sense at relay at substation A end that is BA is equal to that is 50 kilometer of the line up to 50 kilometer means uh, in terms of impedance it is 5 ohm since i have already discussed or assumed that 100 kilometer line length is equal to uh, 10 ohm impedance for ease of understanding so va is equal to 5 into ia plus length of this teeth feeder that is again 50 kilometer that is 5 ohm plus the current which is flowed through the teeth feeder. It is equal to IA plus IB. So JD, JD is equal to impedance since by the uh, distance layer substation A is nothing but BA by IA, which is equal to 10 plus 5 into IB by IA. So since fault occur at farthest point at substation C end, the impedance seen by the JD is equal to 10 plus 5 into IB by IA. That is more than the 10 ohm impedance. But in terms of distance, it is nothing but 50 plus 50, that is 100 kilometer from substation end. Or in terms of impedance, it is 10 ohm. 
okay now consider that uh, this is a single circuit line and up to substation c that is also a single circuit line so from substation a n to substation c n distance is 100 kilometer again from a to b it is 100 kilometer so zone to setting is provided that is 120 percent of the line length so here the line length is 100 kilometer from a to b and again 100 kilometer from a to c so here zone 2 from both of the substation is provided as uh, 12 ohm or 120 kilometer okay now uh, if both the source have same odd level or magnitude of the source from both the substation is same in this case the fault current supplied from substation a and substation b will be equal that is ib is equal to ia so j day will be equal to 10 plus 5 into ib is equal to ia so it is 5 z day that is the impedance since by distance in a substation a will be 15 ohm although setting is provided for zone 2 as a 12 ohm so it will be under reach from substation a end so it will not detect the fault at substation a c end under zone 2 location now consider that if ib is greater than ia when ib is greater than ib ia now if the source which is connected to the substation b end is stronger than substation a end then the fault current will be supplied from substation b end will be more than that of the substation a end so here ib will be greater than an ia so here uh, the impedance change at substation a end uh, in the distance relay will be greater than 15 ohm since 10 plus 5 into ib by ia ib is greater than ia so it will be greater than 5 so z will be greater than 15 ohm so it shall be considered for calculation of zone to setting from both of the substation for teeth feeder protection so this is how the difficulty of teeth feeder protection can be overcome for zone to setting so friends if you like my video then please go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future thank you for watching this video